Hi, I'm Dennis Judy. I'm the technical director for Eco Raider. Eco Raider is uh, one of our FIFRA 25B products. It's a green product that does not require federal registration, and we found it to be dynamic on bed bugs. It has been tested by Rutgers University to be very, very effective on bed bugs. And uh, today we're going to show you how we apply Eco Raider in a bedroom setting and talk to you about the ways that you can use it as a tool in your arsenal to combat bed bugs. Eco Raider comes in two different varieties right now for bed bugs. One is this convenient little 16 ounce handheld sprayer that is a ready to use mixture. Uh, the other is a one gallon container that contains product that can be mixed on a one-to-one -one ratio in your uh, B&G sprayer and then you can use that accordingly to do your treatments. We will get started with the treatment and walk you through the uh, proper way to disassemble a bedroom and treat accordingly. Okay, as we get involved in the treatment, uh, we'll break it down into steps. And the very first thing that I want to do in this is uh, to address the linens within the, uh, the bedroom proper. We'll do a thorough inspection of the linens as we remove them from the bedding. Uh, we'll fold them, we'll check them thoroughly. And then the way we go about treating them is that we actually will put them in a uh, trash bag and then we'll provide that sealed bag to the homeowner and instructions to then put it in their dryer. And if you heat bed bugs to 120 degrees uh, or higher, uh, it will readily kill them. After we've taken care of the linens uh, within the bedroom proper, the next step is to go through all the non-linen items. These are things that uh, we re really can't readily treat with a spray product, get any liquid on it, and we can't heat them in the dryer because of the way they're built. So we also take these and bag them, and then what I'll show you is a trick to treating just a uh, towel with some of our product, placing that towel in the bag with those items and setting it aside so that if there are any bed bugs trapped in those items, they will be affected by the treatment that is placed on that towel. Okay, the next step in our treatment will be to address the mattress. Uh, the mattress is typically made up of nice little tufts and seams. Sometimes they have labels on them. So we need to inspect it thoroughly and then we will actually treat it with the Eco Raider with our sprayer uh, around all the tufts and seams and just give a, a very light even fan spray coating of the product over that mattress. Once we have treated our mattress and set it aside, our next step is to inspect and treat the box spring. One of the first things I like to recommend people do is inspect thoroughly the dust cover portion of the box spring. If it has the smallest little hole, a bed bug can get up in there and hide. So I like to tell people, let's just remove that. We treat accordingly the same way we treated the mattress except now we can get up inside of that box spring where all the uh, bed bugs could be hiding on the interior portion of it. Now that we've taken care of the box springs, it's time to move to the bed frame and the headboard. We will inspect those thoroughly and treat them the same way with the Eco Raider product. Now that we've done the headboard and the, and the bed frame, it's time to address any other furniture within the room. Sometimes people have chairs uh, or ottomans, things of that nature, so we take care of those fabric type covered items or uh, wooden pieces of uh, furniture and treat them after we inspect them and uh, make sure we've done a very thorough treatment. This bedroom has nightstands, most bedrooms do, so it's very important to inspect those thoroughly. We'll turn them upside down, we'll pull the drawers out. We will treat very thoroughly inside and out any cracks and crevices where a bed bug could harbor.
Our next step is to address the, any wall hangings in the room. People like to hang pictures, so we'll take a look behind the pictures, uh, treat accordingly, spray the backs of them, make sure that there's no place for a bed bug to be hiding there as well. We'll wrap up our treatment by checking anything else that may be in the room. Sometimes there are baseboard moldings that you need to inspect and treat around. Uh, crack and crevice good behind those baseboards, trim moldings, whatever is there. If they have uh, electrical outlets, it's a good idea to address those. Of course, you can't spray liquids in those, so we typically recommend that you use a duster to put a dry dust formulation in those outlet uh, surrounds. And then look for anything else in the room. It could be they've got a window that has curtains. Uh, if they have curtains, we like to treat those curtains uh, where all the tufts and folds are up on the hanger. Uh, spray that uh, with Eco Raider as well. And then address anything else that may be in the room. Also keep in mind this is just one bedroom that we've addressed today. When you're treating a house, you've got lots of bedrooms and you've got other areas in the house where people live, uh, spend a lot of time. So if you go to the living room, you've got upholstered furniture, sofas, chairs, uh, end tables, things of that nature. You also have to be thorough and check all those areas and treat accordingly. Okay, now that we've finished this bedroom, it's important to understand that there's lots of other things throughout the house that you need to do. We highly recommend that you use Eco Raider for your bed bug needs. It contains green products. Uh, geraniol and cedar oils are the primary components mixed with sodium lauryl sulfate. And together it all goes into uh, uh, quite a uh, wonderful way to spray for the bed bug problems that you'll encounter. I've found throughout my experience that it does a very, very good job uh, against bed bugs. And again, it has been tested through Rutgers University to be highly effective and deadly against bed bugs.